Hi everybody, I'm over here with my SARB 035 or SARB 35. Uh, I just wanted to do a recap on this one as well. Let's go check it check it out. I since I got my time grapher out, gonna turn it on. Cause right before this, I did a review about the Invicta Pro Diver. I know that this one was quite well when I first got it, but uh, like anything else, instead of a, I think it was a negative before, but now it turned to a positive plus 10 plus 9 in this position, and I switch positions, it turns into a negative. So kind of shows that I do beat up my watches quite quite a bit if I take it to work because they do get jolted around plenty and while I'm working I, I I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make it I'm not gonna slow down my work just for to take care of my watch to be honest so that's why you, People got work watches, people got going out watches, and I'm the same, I'm the same way. I have watches just for going out, watches just for going to work, just because while at work, uh, I know I'm going to beat up on it. And I just switch positions, so it's going to take a little bit of time for it to... Uh, track it but in this position actually did rather well the last time I tried it out so it went from a plus to a minus and figure one time around then it kind of got situated so minus three I'm rather flying through everything right now because after this I gotta start getting ready for work because I tend to do this right before I go work because while I'm, the days I usually go work my son is not around he's at school so it's easier With this Seiko, I'm giving it a little bit more time than the Invicta Pro Diver because I was rather disappointed by the performance of the Invicta Pro Diver, to be honest. So, you can tell I sw I'm switching it around, stopping the time grapher. Even with, even with this Seiko, SCRB, I, I was playing around, I was quite disappointed with the performance from when, when I first got it. It was pretty awesome, but I kind of realized to myself, yeah, I, I do beat up on my watches while I'm at work, so it, it is not going to perform the same as brand new. As you can tell, the beats per hour is 21,600. 
It's not as uh, fast as most Swiss made watches. On the, you know, I can't really complain because for what I got this watch for was a deal. I thought it usually goes for like three to four hundred dollars. I got it for I think three or less than three, and it's a finely built watch. It's has sapphire crystal. Has twenty three jewels. Has a six R fifteen movement inside, which is better than most of the Seiko watches out there. That's on the lower tier. So this actually has a higher tier movement for the for the range that I paid for this. As in, as is the Passage. A lot of Passage uh, models, which cost like maybe two, three hundred dollars more, as a lesser movement inside. So, uh, so as a sapphire front, as a hard looks in the back. Hard looks in the back. I don't really care to be. It's not like it's gonna get scraped up that much in the back. This is. 100 meter water resistant but on the other hand it has a 50 hour power reserve so I should have known had more than my Invicta Pro Diver and my Oris Aquis because when both of those putter out this is the only one that's going on my days off yeah if I don't wind the watches on my day off this is the only one that's going which is Quite amazing. Can you see how elegant and how good this looks? Nice hands, the hour hands, the minute hands, the seconds. This white is like a cream or off white. Took me a while to get used to this because. I'll be honest, I, I tend to gravitate towards black dials. You can see, let's try to clean it off a little. You can see how much time and effort they put into this watch. There's a highly polished edge, there's a brush for the top. Around the bezel, highly polished, even on the crown, there's a S, and that's you don't see the S on the lower, lower tier um, Seikos. That was one of the many reasons why I gravitated towards this watch. I actually wanted a diver. I want to buy a diver, want to review a diver, but how many pluses this Seiko Sarb has compared to, let's just say, a SKX? The amount of pluses this have is outweighs SKX by far. Pull it up. Oh. This one you don't need to pull it out because it don't have a, that's my major gripe. It doesn't have a screw down crown, but it makes winding the watch eat much easier. So it's, yeah, pull it out once, that'll be for your date. As you can tell, it's the 18th of the month. So I just did my Invicta Pro Diver review recap right before this. Pull it out again. That's for hacking. See the second hand stopped. 
<clears throat> push it all the way back in, everything, or you can push it one in and the second hand will go again. This is a, for a white dial, this, this watch gets either one or two days worth of work for me, which is awesome because I tend to use my Oris two days out of the week for work. I only work four days. So, you can see in the back. That 6R15 movement is a lot nicer than the NH35A movement that's in the Pro Diver. If I'm not mistaken, I can see it has a metal ring inside. Which is a big step up from the Pro Diver by far. But anyway... Hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, recap of the Seiko SCRB 035. Thank you and have a good day.